Hi there, welcome back. Today we've got Operation Sky Slayer. Uh, it's a mission to hack the workstation on an abandoned train. Uh, Difficulty is moderate, and our reward is an engineer, Dr. Michael Cote. Uh, there's some advent loot site rep on the mission as well. Uh, so this is the team we're bringing along. Uh, we've got uh, Hall, Denham, Wycheck, Manchuso, Kaplan, and Ambrosio. And Kaplan and Ambrosio. Um, we're hoping to build, start building their relationship up and uh, hopefully get them bonded at some point. Um, so yeah, this is the team and we let's get started. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace, ready to deploy. an eye on an intermittent signal moving through this area, and we think it's tied to an unprotected terminal on board one of the advent trains. We can't pass up a chance to retrieve their data on the latest alien project, so we're moving on the train. Eliminate all hostile forces with extreme prejudice. If we can seize control of that data, we might have a shot at stopping their progress. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. We got a last-minute tip that Advent has additional materials stashed somewhere in the AO, but we don't have an exact position. The clock is ticking, but we should still try to recover that gear if possible. Okay. Volk says I am to obey. I go where you the tell time me. time for hiding is over. Hello. Hmm. Okay. So... If I'm honest, I probably want to avoid that turret. Um, although it would be nice to get it, to actually get a turret wreck at some point in the mission, but um, I don't think it's worth blowing our concealment over. That's affirmative. I'm picking with this site rep, I should probably never dash it now. I should probably just have Overwatch every time. I don't know what other people's uh, thoughts about that are. But it seems uh, an unnecessary, unnecessary oh, risk to uh, do any dash at all. So I think I'm just going to move for this round and then I'm just going to go my uh, blue moves. Sorry, this uh, not sight rep, I was talking about my, um, my resistance order which uh, stops the clock ticking until concealment has been broken. So I see no value whatsoever. As you order, Commander. Got a fairly good view into the yard. Moving to designated position. Oh, there's one of those supply things. Does this break our concealment? I've got feet up. I'm pretty sure it does. Position so I'm not really interested for a few supplies. Head it there now. We can dash someone over and grab them later. That Moving to position. Hit. Is in your hands. Hello. I think we just saw you will never hide down. from me. There's nothing to hide. 
there's an alien patrol nearby. Um, oh, there's a couple. So let's have a nice start. Not amazing. So these look like advanced troopers. That's not a good thing. So got some advanced troopers there. A second pod here. So I'm thinking maybe to engage from this side and maybe try and get a hack. Uh, maybe just pull one pod. Just make sure I'm very well, or at least tr when I trigger, make sure I'm in really good um, closing and target position proximity now. to the uh, objective. But that looks like a uh, nine. Hmm. I am trusting you. Can you can never escape my sight. Oh wow, another turret up there. Okay, so we definitely want to be attacking from this side. Uh, rather than engage in the turrets. If we can hack the objective, we can kind of take our time and make sure we get those turrets. Closing um, our target position now. Which would be nice, because at some point we are going to get a get a uh, Avenger defense. So uh, I think I've Moving. just uh, double moved somebody after I said I wouldn't do it anymore. So Roger that. Just need to concentrate. Moving to position. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Okay, coming this way. We may get a nice remote start opportunity here, so let's uh let's not panic. Moving the designated coordinates. set all the colours off when I... Wow, there's a lot of remote start targets here. Okay. They seem to be isolated. I think Andrea's in a good spot there. And let's just keep Heading out. plodding along. Moving to Overwatch. No one will cross. Overwatch. Okay. I think. Are they in range? They might be. Tough one. They're not quite, they're just out. Okay, that's okay. Hopefully they'll wander towards this car over here. So let's just uh, I will go. move along a little, see what they do. I'm guessing the other pod's behind the objective. So I think what we're going to do here is just uh, slowly move up onto the high ground. Heading there now. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Heading to that location. Roger that. Location. That looks fine. Eyes on the prize. On overwatch. Covering now. My watch begins. A lot of covering. On overwatch. We may start opportunities here, I think. So, this looks good. This looks really good. So, this is, is it 12 damage remote start? It's just so good. Okay. So, incredible. Pod deleted. Do I want to move before I... I don't think I do. Always observe your surroundings. 
<laughs> oh, it never gets old. <laughs> Just feels uh, Good copy. Moving on target. Bit naughty. <laughs> Heading there now. Okay, so we're just going to move up Order's here. Order's confirmed on the move. I'm going to start having Understood. a little look at moving how out. we want to actually move and engage here, and engage. Affirmative, covering the watch. Roger, I've got my eyes moving the overwatch. So it doesn't seem that good, the uh, clock not starting until the, um, the mission starts, but it gives you such a tactical advantage, you know, you can... Um, if otherwise we would have had to move forward there, we would have probably had to blast through the turrets to get to the objective. Whereas this way we really get to pick our um, pick where we're going to come from. So it looks like we've got two sectoids there. Be interesting to see where we start to get visibility on the hack. So I don't think we're going to get any eyes from this side, which is interesting. So let's get, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to move, move into position. I check up a little. I don't think there's any huge risk of anybody wandering into us right now. On my way. So let's just get everybody assembled up. Okay. Position. Okay, so now we could use a claymore here. It does feel like a little bit of overkill, maybe. Um, there will be another pod, so I think it might be worth jumping up and seeing if we can see Moving as anybody order. up there. Now, means I suppose they could be inside this building. We could also be uh, patrolling around the back there. That's quite interesting in itself. I think we'll just uh, hold off here. Moving out. Ah, there they are. You cannot run. Ooh. Okay. Overwatch, I'm on it. Overwatch, I'm on it. Are they moving? They are. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So much for hiding. Oh wow. <laughs> Right, it's on now. It's on. Oh my goodness, how many sectoids? Well, not one less. <laughs> X-ray neutralized. There's four sectoids left. I have sight beyond vision. Oh, I hope I don't get flanked here. I mean, well, the flank shot. Looks like they're not going to. Which does help. Okay, so we've got four sectoids and a viper to deal with. Okay, what could have been... Could have been worse, I think. So we've got a flank shot there, 53 here, not amazing. I'm a little bit concerned about the, um, the mind control potential of these guys. How much, if any, damage can we do with a claymore? I'm wondering if it's worth dropping out of sight here. So we've got a couple here. Um, can we actually get... Both sides of the train? I don't think we can. So 
Okay. So we can't get the Viper on that guy. Probably going to be crazy to sit here anyway. Um, so we've got to move through us to get over here, right? The flank there will lose 20% but we'll gain 20% because the sector is in full cover. So that should be a 70 odd percent shot. Um, I think we can only get one. Although a grenade would give us a flank on both. So I'm, I'm just tempted to take some cover here, but I'm a bit worried about them. Uh, them uh, I'm a little bit worried about them spotting. So, what's our plan? Yeah, I could move right back, bring bring the Reaper down, conceal, move everybody else out of sight, and then move back forward and hit them next go. I'm thinking that might be a good option. So, let's move back to here. That should let me get the conceal. Okay, so Shadow is back on. I can at least monitor these guys. And... I'm on the move. Let's try and just draw them through. hope that they can't actually see us. Cluster up too much either. I'm on it. On it. Let's do this. So it's probably crazy, but heading to that location. Let's see what happens. So I think they're all out of sight. Moving to open one against us. Affirmative, covering now. Let's see what we do. Uh, there might be a bit of zombie raising, that's okay. There is nowhere to hide. Pretty much okay with that. That means I've got to hit these guys and hit them hard. <coughs> oh! Five oh, 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 oh. percent. <laughs> On us here. Please don't shoot at our guys. They always miss those, even when the percentages are quite good. 
Okay, we're all right. We're all right. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so the zombies, I don't think the zombies can get to us at this point. But I do need to be quite aggressive now. So I think I've managed to draw them out. Have I managed to draw them out enough? Flashbangs. Ooh. Now that is good. Right. So you're you're our backup basically. You can probably hit at least a couple of those sectoids. So that's let's let's keep that back in reserve. Um, I think I think the flashbangs are move, definitely. Um, where can that claim all get to? Claim can get to there. A grenadier. Two. I would suggest I would expect the sector can probably hit us from there if we leave it. The viper got executed. That's a big bonus. Four sectoids. Okay. So, just a little bit concerned about mind control shenanigans. Is it worth just shifting back another, another, another go? And just pull them once more. They could try a couple of mine controls. We could get got quite good range on them. Okay, so you're concealed still, which is, uh, that could be extremely useful. Ooh! What do I do? Okay, so there's some decent spots here. I think I do not want to leave you there. Okay, so we're going to play a little bit of cat and mouse with these guys. Or are we going to just go for them? Okay. 
to Claymore take out those guys. Oh, sorry, grenade. Grenade and Claymore. That'll take those two. And I need to get about three or four squares closer. I'm a bit concerned about this sectoid here getting a snipe on us. I'm really not sure how that's that's the one thing I'm really not sure about how to deal with. You're in a really good position. And one of the zombies is controlled by this one over here, I think. Okay. Understood. Moving out. Okay, let's just go for it. So we're going to grenade this guy. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a civilian sitting there. I think I can avoid the civilian. Oh, he's got no cover, actually. That would be a waste. So can you get a shot? Yes, you can. So we'll use your grenade to take these two with the claymore, right? And you, I would like to get a shot in there. We should be pretty much covered on this side if I take those these guys out. So he's the only real problem. Okay, so let's get these guys with the claymore the trap is set I might be able to get the flashbang on this guy over here if he's the only one left actually be a bad move. So we've got our other grenadier here and I want him to have the best possible shot without being flanked by the sectoid. I've got a feeling it's here but I'm a little bit worried about him flanking us. Uh, I suppose two squares he can hit us. He can probably move closer. So I think there. See that. That's four. That's buying four squares. If you can get four squares and hit our guy. Use part ah, so we could use Jeff actually to give you an extra move and let you move after potentially. I think that's uh, the play. On the move. I really need some of these shots to hit. Wow, 100 percent Target eliminated. Perfect. Okay, it's one zombie down. So now the grenade on the on these two sectoids and the claymore, that should be eight plus three. So Head these down. guys should be down. Alright. Right, so now what we could really do with doing here is getting Can he get a shot on, on him? 
Oh, the move. You'd have to move into the open here. last one. I've got a couple of turrets I've got to take care of as well. Move back there which is okay. I'm a little bit careful with those. Who's that got eyes on? Why can I see it? Maybe it's just because it's in range there. Okay, so uh, sorry I'm taking my time a little bit on this one. I'm just uh, a bit a little bit nervous about screwing it up. Um, let's see if this gets us in range with the flashbang. Understood. Moving out. Oh, not quite. So what are our other options? So you could actually overwatch, right, Bull? Did you get the... Um, Oh, you got the hair trigger as well. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. So I'm assuming he's not in range of the turret if he moves there. I'm thinking of dashing ranger up to go, here. Go, go. I think we're going to aid protocol. Oh, there's a hack. Distraction override. I don't think they're any good. So I think we're going to aid protocol. Why check? Uh, aid protocol our ranger. I've forgotten his name, sorry. like to try and do is get a reaper round reposition. on a flank and so let's move you behind the car probably doesn't make any difference in terms of the sectoid's chances to hit but it does mean you're a little bit closer to strike potentially next go Makes it a little bit more difficult for him, I'm hoping, to uh, Moving to position. Solve problems. So I think we've got a decent amount of cover here. Let's see what he does. Hopefully some mind shenanigans and not shooting. Okay, that's, that's alright. Please don't run into the turrets. Please don't run into the turrets. I'm hoping he is just out of range. Okay. I think he's just out of range. Ooh. Right, we've only got four turns to take out the... Okay, we're all good. This is all good. Okay, so I think we've got a an unpanicked engineer here somewhere. Probably want to save a grenade for one of these if I can. So, are we able to take this guy out? 91% 6 to 8. He's pretty good. Um, and so we've got two shots with the Rangers. Good shots as well. And as back up to that, I'm hoping I can pull a flank shot with the Reaper, but I don't think I can. So what's my backup if these fail? Um, I'm guessing you with your grenade. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go for two slash attacks. On the side side. They're 
on to me. Nice. I think the other one was 98%, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. So they were both concealed. They're on to me. I didn't even realise. Okay. Well, it's always good to bring a couple of rangers. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Okay, so panic removed. That's brilliant. So now let's uh, move in, take out the um, sort out the objective, and then we will. Um, Ready to go. But we don't want to trigger anything. He also Affirmative. can't hang about, and there's a poss I think there's a chance there'll be some reinforcements, maybe. I'm um, not sure if we would have normally had them by now, but it's definitely a possibility. So we should be able to move the rangers up without triggering the... You've got a conceal, which is great. So let's just move you Moving out to here position. Out. And Andrea, let's just move you up. I'm thinking the way I want to attack the turrets here is try and just make sure we get as many shots on it all in one go and just finish it all in one go, hopefully. Um, Heading out. Okay, so that's triggering, which is interesting. But I can't get into the train without triggering that turret. no full cover there either. We can, I think, hop over the train here. On your order. Let's just move you up to there. I don't think you've... Just very close to the turret there, right? But not quite in range. Confirmed. So far, so good. So far, so good. Area no secured. Support. Menace one five. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Oh. Get to that terminal. Oh, we've got to be careful here because we don't want to hack it and then um. Right. Okay. We need to uh, go for this a little bit. Okay. So you can take out that turret by yourself with your grenade, and that's what I think I'm going to get you to do. Um, I think, yes, I think you get triggered here, but I think the turret can't see you there, right? I don't trigger anything that way. So that means next go I can grenade that turret. This is going to be pretty close I think. Let's get you into there. Okay. Oop. Maybe not the microphone again. Okay. Not nervous at all. <laughs> right. And I'm wondering actually if it's safe to actually dash into the train here because nothing's got a shot on us. I think that's probably a sensible move as well. Uh, so what have we got? What are our options? So that leaves us with four shots. 
potentially at the so if we dash up to here we can probably get up on top of the train next go and we've actually got two goes so we can I think I'm just going to move these guys right up to that turret objective position confirmed commander we have confirmation of the exposed access point that's fine move our Reaper up to here so she's got a nice shot at that turret whenever we need it. Ooh, didn't see that civilian there. Okay, um, I think Jeff can... No, I don't want him catching fire. So I think he's fine here. It'll trigger the turret but it won't matter. Um, actually, no. We're, we're going to put him in here. Got it. Moving. Okay. So yeah. So sorry for the uh, the messing around. What I'm trying to do is make sure I get two advent turrets here. I probably only need one, really, if I'm if I'm being honest. But I just want to try and make sure I get these things. So um, so if we move. Our grenadier up to here. The next go, he should be in a good Will position do. to uh, move in and finish and, and knock out that turret. It's got three out, three um, armor, so I want to shred it before I hit it with anything else. Area okay. Secured. okay. So if all goes well, we take out the turrets. Um, if all goes well. We take out the turrets. I'm on the move. And hack the objective. I've got this turn and next turn. Somehow still not triggered that, which is great. So this should finish this turret. Take this! That's perfect. And now... Okay, so we've got a 96% there. We have, we can get another shotgun up here. Yeah, I think I've got enough shots to be, to reliably I'm on it. finish this guy off. We've actually got a grenade, but I don't think that works on um, on the ones on the trains. Call cool tight with that once. Hippie armor. Okay, so one more Bring shot from anybody fast. should should do us here. So I think let's try and uh, Andrea doesn't get many chances to shoot stuff, so uh, let's give it to her. And uh, see what we've got. Attempting infiltration. Priority data. What's that? <laughs> Delays current dark event project by two weeks. I mean, that's not bad, is it? It's better than nothing. Reduce contact cost for a nearby region. I suppose that would be a bit nicer in a way. 40 intel. But yeah, I mean, so it's just some sense. I probably won't get it anyway. Yeah, my hack is up. So, yeah, didn't really matter. But at least we've completed the mission. I think we did Back it unscathed. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. to the team Chris
convent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. Hmm, pretty happy with that one. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the Ooh, trigger. Sonic Killer. That's 12 points. Anything else we want to try and grab? Tactical rigging would be nice at some point. So, I'm wondering if you get distraction uh, where a kill with the claymore puts the Reaper into shadow and then tactical rigging that would let you throw a claymore and then a grenade and then the claymore then um, puts you back into shadow again. I might have to just test that at some point. That, that, would, that would seem like a really good combination. Um, to use those. Uh, I think Dead Eye would be quite good. A needle. I'm thinking of saving uh, some of these points so we can give um, Elena the um, the sustain, especially after the scare, after I nearly killed her last time we were out. So, um, so I would like to grab needle, but um, I think I'm going to save the points for Andrea for now. Uh, I'll change my mind in a bit. See how I feel. Uh, so yeah, I think that went really, really well. Uh, why check? That's excellent. Not a field medic. Gives him a couple of extra heals. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. A couple of turret wrecks. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive Thanks. work. I'm cooking. He seems happy with me at the moment. I'll make the most of it while I can. So, uh, right. So, we've got an extra engineer. This is great. Um, thinking about what to do next. So this will get us some... This coil could provide us with some additional power for alloys. the Avenger systems. But we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. That's two. I'm nowhere near getting the Scilab yet, so... If I clear those, I might not be able to do much with it, that's the problem. So I'll usually put Shadow Chamber and um, Scilab on there. So probably want to be starting on that at the point I start researching the Scilab so I'm always ready to put it down. Um, we've got our infirmary down so that's being built, that's great. So the next stuff we need is training centre and resistance comms. Uh, how much is an upgrade? Uh, power conduit, so that's not too bad, that gives us another two power which would be enough for the next building to actually get the training centre down. And then gives us a little bit of breathing room I think so I think I'm just let's just knock out this um, proving ground and then I think we'll go alien debris well that's only supplies I wonder if um, hmm. oh well I think, I think we're all right for now so we'll keep that as is we've got 154 supplies we've got 118 coming at the next supply drop or that'll be slightly less if this uh, proving ground's been cleared. We have got some healing machinery being cleared here which is a few alloys. So we're not looking we're not doing too bad for alloys. We may be able to um, grab another upgrade. So it says unstaffed engineer, oh that's gone now. Okay, so we've got bond level up, infirmary being built. I think we're all good there. So, is that another Avenger power? <laughs> That's really cool. I don't believe that. I've just had one of those. Oh wow, that that's uh, great. It just saves us having to upgrade our, uh, or put an engineer potentially into our power supply earlier. 
Okay, that's really, really useful. So, resistance contacts, that's nice. So, what, what have we got? Expiring, seven days, eight days. So, we've got a few on eight days. That means we can actually grab one of these things. Um, so, we can make contact. That's going to kick off another chosen. I don't feel like I really like I'm really in a rush to do that right now but then it will get a bit of extra income coming in as well and we'll be able to see what the um, continent bonus is for Europe so I'm thinking thinking yeah let's um, let's make contact so we've got supplies, rookies, Avenger power which is pretty cool and resistance contacts. So actually that Avenger power, if I can get that, oh wow, six days. Oh, if I can get the Avenger power, that means we can put down uh, the training center straight pretty much in six days. Well, eight days. That would be really good. So, now we'll play this. So we've got eight days to get that. Um, what we want is to take one of you out until that says 16 days or 11 days. Oh, okay, it's eight days anyway. So I think I think two days there, and then we'll put the guy back. There's no point building it two days early, right? So. Um, so we'll have the proving ground. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. So I think that Avenger Power is uh, too good to turn down. Um, we may have to quickly hit a couple of things before we do that. Because we're not going to get the full eight days. So let's actually nine days we've got time for that two eights so where's the avenger right now the avenger's here so let's just hit the avenger i'm just going to do one course. day on each and then hit the power that should be good enough i'm maybe being a bit greedy okay let's take a day off there let's move that up to 13 days now let's simply press the button there i don't mean to Bad habit of doing that. So that's put that back up to 13 days. Uh, use the cursor keys, that's a bit better. So um, I think we need to do. a day on resistance contact. So yeah, we'll do a day Avenger, on each of these and then course. we'll hit the. We'll, we'll concentrate on the power. I think that's. Uh, Decent move. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can parade. Awesome. If a mutant autopsy, it'd be. Uh, Welcome to the proving grounds, idea, Commander. Right? It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. What are our options? So, do we want to get the school jack up and running ready? I don't really want to spend supplies right now. Experimental ammo could be quite good. Uh, experimental grenade. Not so much at the minute, I don't think. We could get the... Uh, yeah, let's, let's go I'll grab an experimental ammo. We've got a few I'll let you calls. know as soon as we've made progress. Let's see what we get. Um, Plated armor is nine days away, actually. So, oh, that'd be lovely if we can afford that. So, we need 300 supplies and 60 alloys, I think. So, we might just be able to grab that plated armor. I think we might have, what, have to do one more mission before that happens. So, we've done. Did we actually scan that at all? Let's move it up to 15 days. So, let's leave that there. There's no rush. And now, just the rookies. We'll Avenger finding new course. And then we, we should be free now to just go and full on scan that power. Take this down to six. And then 
There we go, 14, 13, 11. So that's plenty of time. Let's go and Avenger plotting just do that. We'll course. probably get a mission before this happens anyway, right? By the way. Our action together is complete, Commander. And extract. Extract. Our unified resistance continues to learn a great deal about these chosen that pursue us. My followers grow increasingly reverent of your abilities, Commander. Reduce appetite With our success service. comes the opportunity for you to assign us new orders, Commander. Mm, that's a good order. Okay, what's our next covert action? Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Okay, so everything's at risk of ambush at the minute, isn't it? So if I can grab an ambush low, that's a, benef a bonus. So Rudeus uh, Avatar Project, put my teeth back in. Um, 25 supplies. Um, because there's a risk of ambush, we want to... Send a couple of decent guys, I think, on this one. So, who would be a good pairing? Can we afford to send Andrea? She's just so helpful at the moment on the regular missions. So, risk of ambush does concern me. Have I sent Jeff and Andrea? We've got, we've got a bit more confidence that, that they make it, or I could. You know what, it would probably be a good opportunity to send... Is it Dan and... My Dan's tired. So it's Dominic. Yeah, so we might we might get a few nasties on this. I'm thinking uh I usually have loss, so grenadier is not so great. So uh who am I sending on this covert op? I'm gonna do it. We've got a few tired people as well. I'm I'm almost tempted to wait a few days and just get some people back. So three days we'd have Denim. I could possibly send Denim and Stokes, which I'd probably feel reasonably comfortable that they'd be able to handle it. Um, if we get a mission in less than three days after I've sent these guys, I might be struggling a bit. So it's whether I want to take the risk. Okay, I'm probably going to get a mute on or stun mutons or stun lancers on there now. Um, but with two against one, we should be okay. As we play it sensibly. You probably do want to send a specialist on there. You either want concealed with people or or a specialist to heal. I'm thinking Um, so if I did send Andrea and Jeff, if I did send them, I wouldn't have them for the next mission. I could be quite short for the next mission, actually. Is it worth the risk? So Jeff's 8 health, Andrea's 9. Three days. So if I get a mission in three days after I send these, I'm in, I think I'm in a bit of a pickle. So let's just wait three days and send them then. Just a bit nervous about that ambush. Just, um, it means we can probably just free up the engineer. Commander, uh, the factions him. have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. Okay, so we've got seven days to clear the machinery. Hopefully that lines up roughly with um, the Avenger Power. 
So three days we're looking for. So June the 9th. Let's have a look in June the 9th. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Ooh, definitely going to want to do that reduced avatar project. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. There we go. So, yeah. I'm glad I waited now. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Two hours. So, why check's back in two hours? Uh, 11 hours, 18 hours. I don't think we can wait that long. You know, uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was, uh... Something. Getting the Avengers' power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running. But he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both okay. a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. So we've got 21 hours to play with. I'm going to try and uh, head over there. I think. There will be no escape. For those who would defy my gods. This is regular Setting regular retaliation by the look of it. Okay, let's see who we can bring. Difficult, so yeah, this is this is gonna be tough. I think if I'm not mistaken. We might have a risk of warlock uh, this mission. Okay, so we've got so Denim's back in six hours. Can we wait six hours? Sixteen hours. I think we probably could. So saying that, if we can get if Denim they on, choose defiance, then I will force their obedience. We've got this um So we could lose this region here if we fail this mission. So we do want a strong team. I'm thinking Reaper Specialist, two grenades, two rangers. And So Dan's not going to make it. So we actually need Alan anyway. So okay. So this gives us an idea of what we're going to have. So if we hang on for uh, Alan. For a little bit that's one ranger covered and then we need two grenadiers and another ranger so i don't think dan's going to make it so i think we'll go for pat what I might do is just wait till dan recovers and send him on the op so uh, dan so it's a low risk of ambush but it's still a risk in it um, so Pat's compatibility is high with, oh yeah, Suarez. Yep, that would make sense. I think Suarez one of the, where is Suarez? Okay, bring a new, new guy along. And then another ranger and grenadier. So I think it's uh, Stokes and uh, Alan Denham. So um, 
so yeah I'll uh, I'll probably drop out and just uh, wait a few out a few minutes so um, so you guys don't have to watch it but um, yeah I think that's pretty much the team we're going to be taking out I'll sort the weapons out in a bit as well um, okay um, hope you hope you enjoyed the episode um, please give me a like if you liked it um, and uh, yes yeah, subscribe if you want to see more thanks a lot everybody and uh, I'll talk to you all next time <laughs>